Okay, so let's talk about data management. So if I could, I think about those Perry Mason movie, uh, shows where he's looking at a case, looking at the facts. And so the three pillars of traceability are where they came from, the premise, how they're identified, the animal ID, and the one that we'll be talking about probably for a few years to come, and that is what's happening between the two bookends. So let's talk about premise. It's all about location, location, location. Or more importantly, if I can get this right, down in that lower left-hand corner there, location. So the challenges in the dairy farm is with consolidation, uh, the days of... Uh, doing things the way my grandfather did and my uncles did has changed. So when we get to animal ID, for the dairy business, for us anyway, traceability wasn't really a big issue. Our first experience with RFID was in the mid-90s. We had two separate ends of the cow we were dealing with. We had um, some milk meter companies that had automatic daily milk information. They needed to identify in an affordable way and so they were using the 900 series ear tag. It was reusable, so you can cut it out, put it on the next cow, for identifying them in the parlor and collecting their milk weights. The other side, the business end of the cow, which is the back end, we had a group that wanted to put an implant in the dew claw and scan from the back end of the cow. We thought that made a lot of sense because that's where most of the business is done is the back end of the cow. And if any of you want to go partners with me 50-50, I'll let you have the front half as long as I get the back half. So uh, like Perry Mason looking at the case, I want to present the case for data management with RFID. And case is an acronym. So one of the things that we talk about is compliance. And compliance is on many levels. So if the federal government or a state agency has to mandate something, well, we're already in that realm. We're already doing something that dovetails into what they need there. But the dairymen aren't really thinking about that. They're thinking about the compliance of their workers. If you think about having a paper list and all the things you can do about cheating, we heard an example of somebody cutting tags out of cows, but we'll see this in a video coming up shortly. But all the transparency, all the regulations, everything that has to do with getting the job done right is about compliance. Accountability. So the compliance will drive accountability. Uh, one of my problems growing up on the farm was when I got on a tractor, I wanted to know who was the last person to drive it before I got on there. Because sometimes somebody would run a tractor without any water in the radiator or forget to put oil in. And when you got on and started up and went down the road and all of a sudden it broke, it was like, what did you do? So accountability is one of the things that we think about uh, when we look at uh, traceability and identification systems. The other thing is about speed. Um, you can only go so fast with the tools that you have, and when you have to do more, and all of us have to do that, we look at ways of increasing our productivity, how to get things done quickly. And you'll see a little bit of that here in the presentation. And of course, in order to survive, we have to be efficient. We can't waste money, we can't waste resources, so we have to do the most that we can with what we've got. So I'm gonna present the case for data management with RFID for any type of animal that we have on the dairy. And if we'll go ahead and play the video. So this is how it was when I started with uh, Dairy Comp. We were so excited to have paper lists that we could generate because it used to take hours to do those by hand, look at individual cow records. And this is what we were doing. If you had a large dairy, you're looking at an animal, you're looking at a piece of paper and going through and trying to find out who you have to do. If you were a bad employee and you still had animals you hadn't found yet, all you had to do was cross them off because who was going to know whether you found them or not at that point? So that's where that compliance and accountability comes into play. Let's see if I can do this. So you have your workers. Each one has their list. They're checking to see who do you have, what do, you, what do I have, 
And when they get all said and done, they're pointing at fingers at each other, says, no, it wasn't me, it was you, that kind of thing. So we're able to establish accountability with uh, RFID. So way, the way we solve that is getting our farms to use match pair tag sets. And you saw earlier when I was up here talking about a young cat that was getting tagged. And this has been the demands coming from the marketplace. So in this case, we have dairymen have all kinds of designs about what they want to have for their tags, whether it's two panels, one panel. Uh, but they have this kit. They break it off. They go to the calf. They collect everything that they need to do. And it's in the system. They've now solved the issue for what the state regulatory needs, the federal needs, if they have a milk meter system, if they have to collect weights on calves, if they have a calf feeder. They're solving a lot of problems by just getting this piece of technology into the animal's ear. From there, we'll take that order, which has all the 840 numbers with a match pair ID to go with it, and that'll get imported automatically into their herd management system. So when they're inputting the information, a cow comes fresh, she has one live female identified, it asks for that calf's ear tag number, they type in 1234, it comes to the file, it knows what the EID is, and it automatically populates that. So it's not like you need hardware, special hardware, to implement RFID, you just need the tag and a good management system to get you started. So let's go ahead and play video. So now we're seeing how data management works with RFID. He's putting a little magnet above an animal that tells him that they need to preg check that. He's got combined in his list several things that he needs to do. So he's not just doing one list, he's doing a bunch of lists combined together. The cows like that too because they get to go lay down sooner, chew cut and start making more milk. So this individual, he has people on the other side. He's telling them, you know, this cow needs Gerner H, this cow's a preg check. He's using what we call the two-handed system. That's what we started out with. Each hand had something in here. You can turn the volume up on this one if you want. Not coming up. Well, basically, I'm telling him this is like fishing, huh? He's walking until he finds the animal he needs. But as fast as he can walk, he's scanning his animals. He's recording what pen they're in. And any animal that he needs to be seen for doesn't have to be in that pen. It's telling them what he has to do with an audible uh, speaker. And he's recording those transactions there. So everything has happened at cow side. We've now taken that and shifted into the production area. So in the milking parlor, we can identify the animals as they're coming into the barn. That can be tied into their milk meter system. Or some of the new trends that we're seeing now for animal welfare is to do things to the cow while she's towards the end of her milking so she doesn't have to be messed with uh, heading back. So this guy is being able to tell chalk and paint. He's looking at the big screen. There's a task list up there that's telling him what he has to do to particular animals. And from there, those animals are cut out to a management rail. Again, working from the business end of the cow, the ear tag's in the front, but these guys are pretty creative in trying to figure out how to work from the front. He's telling the veterinarian, go ahead and do that cow, and saving time. So they're saving a lot of time by getting the, the information that needs to be done to the cows as quickly as possible and uh, just focus on their business. So going back to the, the case example that we gave, you know, compliance, accountability, speed, and efficiency. Oops, I gotta go again. Okay, so the last pillar that I wanna talk about, because we have customers all over the world, and if we were in a, in a race right now, the US wouldn't be in first place right now. Now some people are doing things because they have to. I love in this country that we can choose to do things and we don't have to have them forced down our mouth, but if we're gonna be competitive in the, in the marketplace there, we are going to have to kind of catch up. So event ID, that's your movements and anything that needs to be done about retiring an ISO number. So movement's pretty simple. In California, legislation has now changed that any animal leaving their premise needs to be identified with an ISO number. And in the event tra traceability piece, and I'll use Canada as an example, person's using the herd management system, there's five certain events that trigger information that needs to be reported back to the central authorities. So the dairyman's not having to be stopped in the middle of his process. If he makes a cow fresh, there'll be a new record being added. If a cow dies, there'll be another transaction being created. 
if an animal moves from my facility to a different facility, it's creating another transaction. They're able to come into the traceability log on their system, fill in the needed information, make a correction, and then whether they want to submit it every day or once a week to the, the Canadian authorities, they can send that information off to the database. Because we'll be talking about this probably five to ten years from now. You know, the book inside of the issue will be solved, but it's going to be, well, where did they go? Where, who did they come in contact with? And there's a lot of liability out there, especially for the calf growers. In dairy business, you tend to outsource things. So a calf is born on my place. She's picked up within 24 hours, taken to a calf ranch where 100 other dairymen send their calves to be fed. And we don't want to have something bad happen because all of those producers may be affected depending on the situation. Okay, so for me, data management RFID is absolutely crystal clear.